start all the way up from sex magic and from sex magic we're gonna come all the way down to dopamine if you are a lady and you're watching me this is your moment it is everybody's moment but this right here is your moment I'm gonna read you something about sex magic now it says sex magic here this is the definition and I will read it it says any type of sexual activity that is used in magic or ritual or spiritual pursuits that is what you call sex magic i hope you're listening now it comes down on the second line it says one practice of sex magic is using the energy of sexual arousal using the energy of sexual arousal or desire or sexual orgasm with visualization towards your goal or your desire you know who is saying this this is one of the most renowned witches occultists in the world she did not want to give this interview and then she managed to reveal the truth i'm going to explain that but let me read it down and tell you the last line that i said sexual energy is a potent force that can be harnessed to transcend one's perceived reality. So it's a, a force you can harness to transcend, to go beyond the reality that you are used to, which is our normal physical reality. Remember when I used to tell you guys, I said, orgasm never happens in the realms of the, of the conscious. Orgasm happens in the realms of the subconscious. Okay? It doesn't happen in the realms of conscious. It happens in the realms of the subconscious. But then let me go to what I just read before. And I will take it word after word after word after word to explain to you what really happens. Okay? One practice of sex magic is using the energy of sexual arousal. Okay, let's stop there. The energy of sexual arousal means that when you are aroused in sex, when somebody arouses you, at that very moment, your energy is already dissipating. It's already going out. The energy of sexual arousal or desire, sexual desire. Do you now see why the Bible says that if you lust after a woman in your heart that you have already sinned? So the desire alone emits the energy. Or sexual orgasm. So what do you then do with this sexual energy that is being emitted? He said, use it with visualization towards your goal or your desire. If you know anybody who is in an occultic society, mainly people who are in free medicine, in Nigeria, Africa, they have different names, Oboni and all those nonsense. Now, they have people, then the, the umbrella name they have is Freemasons. All these young boys and young pastors and young bishops and young politicians who are joining Freemasons, huh? if you know anyone and you are sure they are part of it, get close to them. You know what you're going to find out first? You will find out that they have become so helplessly and hopelessly addicted to sex. And some of them, you don't even know that they have joined, but you find out that this guy can't stay without sex. Every two minutes, the guy wants sex like two, four, seven. More than he eats food. And you're wondering, what is going on with this guy? Okay, let me explain to you what they are doing today. The Bible said that the hard desires of the righteous shall not be cut off. So, you see, when you have a hard desire, you are saying a prayer. Your hard desire is your prayer. Your wish is a prayer. God answers them silently without you even having to open your mouth. The same way it is in natural life. So... When an occultist or an artist or anybody sells their soul to the devil, what happens is that every energy, every supernatural energy, which is what you give out through sex, every supernatural energy that you receive in your life, it goes straight to the kingdom of darkness. The devil owns you. That's why they say, I sold my soul to the devil. Meaning that any energy that you receive, that you generate, it actually goes to them. So what it means is that you are walking around as a chaff, as an empty barrel. You don't have any energy. You can't even. You don't even have the power to desire anything or to make anything happen. And before you can magnet and attract a good thing to you, 
it is the same sexual energy that you use to make things happen for yourself. That's why people say when I, they have a popular saying, they say, when I stop porn, I become, I, I have a supernatural energy, or I have, I have superpower. When I stop watching porn, my superpower comes back to me. When you see a virgin who is a true virgin, not the one that's masturbating, you see someone who is a child of God and is not engaging in fornication. The power around them is electrifying. If they walk around you, you may even fall down. The power they have is the power that attracts a lot of goodness, a lot of money, a lot of power, a lot of people will be falling in love with you left, right, center, everywhere. So because they have sold their souls to the devil, they don't have that power anymore. So what they do, you see them sleeping with different women, harnessing their sexual energy, and when they harness the energy, according to what is written here, he said, as they are harnessing your energy, you are just foolishly making love to a person you don't know. But the man is taking your sexual energy and using his visualization power to visualize what he wants to accomplish with that energy. As he's visualizing it, your power is going to wherever it is to accomplish something for a stranger. And they are sucking you dry. Using your energy to accomplish the political ends. And you are there thinking you are having fun. That's why you see there are some of them, they will call, you know I come from the movie industry, right? There are some of them, they will call girls and tell them to strip themselves naked. Okay? In the entertainment industry, there's nothing I've not heard. There's nothing I've not heard. Anybody who is in the entertainment industry who knows what I'm talking about would know that I'm telling you the truth. They will tell girls to come, strip yourself naked, and begin to touch yourselves. So that so much sexual energy is generated in that place. And as the energy is being generated, the guy who is sponsoring this is not doing anything. He's sitting on his chair and he is using the energy Channeling it to his political ambition. And he's a politician. Or maybe he's a musician. He's an artist. As soon as the energy is coming out, they take it and they move it there. They use the power of visualization. You are sleeping with a man. You don't know who he is. You are not married to him. The guy has sold his soul. You don't know it. He is empty. He can't accomplish anything again in life except if he has to steal another person's energy. You see why God told everything the Bible says is so perfect. He said, don't get involved in this thing until you marry. So that when you get married, the person you're married to, you will be exchanging this life energy with him or her. As you transfer to them, they transfer to you. So many people today are so poor. They don't have money. And yet, when they were born, there were prophecies that you're going to be a billionaire, that you're going to buy private jets and even dash people private jets. Today, people are giving you money for transportation. You are collecting money up and down. Because the same way these men suck up the energy from you is the same way women suck up the energy from you as a man. Do you know, so many men I know have told me clearly. In fact, this one was very recent, less than one week ago. Somebody was telling me how that he slept with a lady. And when he got up, the guy said everything in him became empty. He watched and he saw his spirit walking away. He was screaming physically, not in a dream. His spirit was living and the girl was in the bed laughing and smiling. And he was like, why are you smiling? He said, but I don't know why you're behaving crazy. What's going on? He said, look at my spirit. I'm going. I'm dying. The girl was just laughing. When the girl finished dressing up, the girl said, well, one down. More to go. And she left. The guy has never been himself till this day. I remember one of those days of evil. A guy goes to sleep with a girl. This happened in Lagos, Nigeria. As soon as he finishes with the girl, the girl gets up and says, well, mission accomplished. This happened live. She said, mission accomplished. From that moment on, even to get transport money to move around, 
Your vehicle that you're driving will break down beyond repair. No money to repair. Everything that you have is sucked out. Look at what they're telling you. They say sexual energy through sexual desire, through sexual arousal, through sexual orgasm. Then when you harness it, they use visualization to channel it to what you want and make it happen. So the person who is giving this sex to people who know the meaning of the sexual energy, you are stupidly collecting money. Money cannot buy the energy that you are giving. You have everything that it takes to be a multi-millionaire. You have everything that it takes to be a billionaire today. You're just there running around circles just like this. The works of your hands are so beautiful but you don't make profit out of them. You know why? Because the energy is being given, used by another person. That's why some people can carry some women and put them in the house. Girls, they don't want to marry you. They will keep you in the house. Just having sex, crazy sex with the person. The day they don't get the other, the energy is not enough, they will go through the unnatural means of sex and do any sex or some raping or something that will produce a stronger energy. They are sucking you. The moment they believe that the energy they have, they, that you have has gone down, they kick you out and get another person. These guys are miners. They are mining for energy. It is the energy that is so divine that it transformed a soil into a human flesh. That's what they're looking for. Without that, they cannot get ahead in life. Because already they have given the one they have to Lucifer. You're masturbating. One question you ask yourself, whenever you indulge in sex, whenever sexual intercourse takes place, energy is given out. Ask yourself one question, who receives my energy or what receives my energy when I indulge in a sexual activity? Even when I am masturbating, who is taking my energy? It says that the energy actually is so potent. It's a potent force that can be harnessed which transcends the realm of the reality that you are used to. It's a spiritual thing. That's why you should stop postponing your marriage. Pray that God should give you someone so you can settle down and begin to invest. Why do you think the Bible said that one will chase a thousand but two will chase ten because there is going to be a collision of energy. Ah! These guys know what they are doing, but you don't even know. Anybody who loves you enough must love you enough to wait until the whole thing is consummated legally. If they cannot wait, tell them goodbye. No man should ever touch you again sexually until everything is sorted out. This is the reason your business and everything is going like this. Because you guys are living in disobedience. The only reason why the devil was able to steal the glory of man in the Garden of Eden was due to disobedience. That's why the Bible came and put a very powerful law. Simple law. It says, obedience is better than sacrifice. The moment you disobey God, you go up, you send energy to the devil. The moment you turn creation upside down, you produce energy. I told you people something some time ago. I said, aliens. I studied aliens very well. One guy was asking me, are aliens demons? Aliens are beyond demons. They are demons. The body they have that make people call them aliens. They stole our essence to make their body to manifest in our physical world. Just like that. And I told you people, I said, aliens do not feed on normal food. Aliens eat energy. What they feed on is energy. Energy. Because without energy, they cannot survive on this earth. Who is giving them the energy? The energy you give to them when a child is raped. When homosexual sex takes place, the energy is more intense. It is sweeter. It is finer. In fact, they can reward you for that. 
This is what we are producing every day. So your superpower energy, imagine what a politician, what an occultist is doing with the energy they are harnessing from you through sex. Imagine if you kept it inside you and let the energy accumulate and stay on the inside. Can you imagine how much you could have achieved and accomplished in life? If you kept your energy, why do you think the Bible was promoting virginity? Why? Why do you think? You think it's just for nothing? Sexual energy, you're hearing it today. They use it and they visualize. What do I want? Oh, I need that seat in the Senate. And he's making love to you. He's having sex. I need a seat. As you're screaming and making all that noise, he's saying, I need a seat. The seat is said, He's not even enjoying anything with you. He is poor. So your energy is extracted. At the end of the day, you become so spiritually empty, like an empty drum. If someone didn't tell you, you would not know. And you think you're having fun. Look at your life. Check. Take one month and say, I don't want to do anything sexual for one month. Check what will happen. The way your body will transform. The energy around you will change. Superpower will come. Confidence will rise. Everything will happen. Money. Magnetism. The magnetic field that you're supposed to carry with you, which have been neutralized, will be reignited all over again. And you will start people who you called and they put your number on busy. All of them will start calling you by themselves. Because now the superpower energy is in you, stored up, and now you are attracting rather than dissipating. You are attracting. You're no longer chasing goodness away. You are attracting goodness to yourself. The only thing known, put me anywhere, anytime. The only thing that can do that for you is the sexual energy. The same energy you give out during sex. That's the only thing that can make this happen for you. You will never have to run to anybody to pray for you ever again. That's why I told you people, 99% of the things that send you to prophets and to fake people is because of your sexual promiscuity. Now I am giving it to you here. This one is not Bible say, Bible say. I'm telling you what they are telling you. This is what, okay, how do you, do, okay, if you think this is not true, why do you think Alistair Crowley wrote an entire book that he called the book of the law? And the demons dictated the book to him at the foot of the Egyptian pyramid. The same pyramid of Illuminati. This book today is probably the most powerful and the most important book in all of the occult. And what was the most important sacrifice there? You have to sexually vampirize a child and then you will live long. You see, even when it has to do with a child, they still have to go through the arena of sex. Can you imagine, are you, not, are you putting the dots, are you connecting the dots? That even when it has to do with a child, it still has to be sex. Why not just find a way to extract the energy from a child who is not even up to the Adamic maturity? It still has to be sex. Sex, powerful, powerful. If you have a wife, you are the luckiest man watching me on this program today. If you have a wife, make up with your wife. Two of you should come together. You can take over the entire nation if you know the power you have. You love each other and you renew this thing every time in your bed. The bed on the fire. Marriage is sanctified. The bed on the fire. There's nothing you can do. The reason why many couples are having problems is because one couple is hiding somewhere to go and watch pornography. The other one is having masturbation. This one is doing this. That one is doing No, come together and be sincere to yourself and say, look, honey, let's come together now. We can actually take over. You have superpower. Pull your power together. Pull your energy together. In sex magic, the Freemasons are told a lie that when they vampirize a child and devastate the child sexually, that they are going to live forever. In fact, they say there's a planet that is reserved for each one of them. So they will be ruling, they will become God over these planets. The lie of the devil. Preserve your energy. I'm going to read a few things for you, okay? We've already explained what pornography is. Pornography is anything that has to depict 
you know, when you depict or showcase or do whatever on paper, in a movie, in a, you know, whatever, that has to do with the life of prostitutes. Prostitutes is all about telling you about prostitutes, how the prostitutes live their lives. That's what, that's what pornography is all about. So let's go to dopamine because I want every man watching this program to immediately after this program, you will declare your deliverance without anybody even praying for you. If you have a proper understanding of what I'm about to show you now, I'm going to read some things for you and I'm going to explain it clearly so you understand. I'm going to read it again. Listen, pay attention. Pay attention.